Wow, I just tested the motion clarity of my Plasma TV with everything that I know now and I am shocked. It is way better than what I thought. It's 4 milliseconds of persistence, which is the equivalent of 240 hertz sample and hold. That is too good, man. <laughs> it's just too good. So let me tell you how I know that. I opened the UFO test and I lowered the speed of the test to 240 pixels per second. At 60 hertz and that speed, you have 4 pixels per frame. And that looks on my Plasma TV perfectly clear in motion. Like, absolutely perfect. So that tells me 4 milliseconds of persistence. Or better. But it is 4. I tested on a different test, 360 pixels per second. And because the UFO test doesn't have that speed, I don't know why. And it is clear, but it is a little bit blurred. So that's absolutely amazing. I am like, wow, because I thought the OLED at 60 with black from insertion or motion pro high, it was better. It was looking cleaner to me, but it is not better. It is not better. But I would say if you move the camera fast like this, the OLED looks cleaner because it doesn't have trailing artifacts. Uh, there's no phosphorus decay or yeah, it just looks cleaner, maybe because it is a higher resolution, of course, 4K. Uh, but the Plasma is actually better. And I would like, if you have a Plasma TV, I would like you to do the testing yourself and tell me if you see the same thing. Open the UFO test, change the speed to 240 pixels per second at 60 hertz, and tell me if that looks perfectly clear. Or even increase the speed and tell me how that looks that looks perfectly clear then <laughs> your plasma is even better but four milliseconds is just fantastic man a stellar so i want to show you the settings i am using on my plasma tv here for cyberpunk it just looks <laughs> unbelievably good man every time i turn on the plasma tv i'm just amazed this looks insane <laughs> i'm gonna turn off the lights show you the settings on the tv and on the game and the level of sharpness that I'm getting here with NVIDIA Deep Learning Super Resolution 2.25x of 1080p, it just looks ridiculously good. And then I use DLSS. So that combination of, of DLDSR and DLSS is fantastic. <laughs> just absolutely amazing. And I can use ray trace reflections and, and shadows. And yeah, the game is almost maxed out. And it looks fantastic. <laughs> so let me turn off the lights and you know, move the camera so you can see this. And I'm going to show you the settings on the TV. Let me move the camera here so you can see it better. This is so good, man. I'm mean, Every time I turn on the Plasma TV, I am like, man, this is absolutely amazing. Because you don't need more than 60 fps that's the that's the biggest thing you don't need more than 60 at 60 it looks phenomenal look at this and in 60 fps my gpu is at 76 percent and that's all i need <laughs> it looks fantastic let me move the camera a little bit okay so let me show you the C the tv uh, settings i go here to the menu picture and I have to lower this color to 41 or 42 for the colors to be uh, accurate. <laughs> you know, I compare with the OLED and based on what I know, these are more accurate colors than the default 50 is overly saturated. So this color in 50 looks like the OLED with native color gamut on SDR. So that's inaccurate. This at 41 looks like the OLED with the color gamut on auto detect saturation 55 and the plasma looks a little bit warmer which I like uh, but even at normal with the color temperature in normal it looks warmer than the OLED 
and I love that. <laughs> Absolutely love that. I even like to sometimes change it to warm. Uh, but this is warmer than D65, I'm sure. So normal should be the setting here. And then I use uh, this CATS because I see that uh, without this setting, the highlights, I mean, we don't have highlights, but you know what I mean, the bright uh, objects like the skies, the, the, the clouds, they are clipping. So when I use this CATS, I get rid of some of the clipping and then of course I max out the contrast and brightness just to get the, just to get the maximum uh, brightness uh, and you know that shouldn't be maxed out at all uh, but I, I have to use it like that just to get all the brightness and the black level on light and on the Nvidia control panel I have full range full range on the Nvidia control panel let me show you the in-game settings I'm using here. Oh, let me get rid of this for a moment. So we have DLSS quality, sharpness 0 0.05, and look at the in game settings. Everything on, high, ultra, uh, everything, the screen space, space reflections on Psycho is just too much. But I have all the ray tracing on except the ray trace lighting. And then 2880 by 1620 is the resolution I am using. That's the NVIDIA Deep Learning Super Resolution. But I can also just lower this and just max out the ray tracing <laughs> completely. You know, use a combination of DLSS and just max everything out. So when we go here to the calibration, this looks absolutely perfect. I can see the, the shadow, so I can see this here this section which is the near black perfectly and I see this brighter so this looks perfect and on the plasma when I use the near black uh, test pattern what I get is the same visibility that I get when using the trick so when I use the HDR the SDR HDR trick uh, you, I don't know if you saw that video uh, where I show you count eight columns from the right and the rest should be crushed that's exactly what i get on this plasma tv <laughs> and that's too big of a coincidence so on sdr this plasma tv is crushing the same that i do basically for my sdr hdr trick that might be why it looks so awesome <laughs> on the shadows it just looks perfect so yeah man this looks so impressive so impressive i really really enjoy this picture quality the colors the motion clarity and also because it's not that demanding i can max out the game and this game is ridiculously uh, demanding to run and yeah that's a plus too and also man you don't need more than 60 frames of course we are not talking about competitive games but just a single player game story base like this 60 fps is all you need on a plasma tv if you've never seen a plasma tv and you have like an ips monitor that's 144 hertz and let's say you need a tv just to watch some sports get a plasma tv man i paid 25 dollars for this plasma tv that's just ridiculous that's free <laughs> we can call that free it's nothing so if if you've never seen a plasma you don't know what i'm talking about when i tell you motion clarity that i move the camera like this and everything is clear so i can do this and everything is clear in motion no problem whatsoever it's just amazing and then the colors are awesome and then the contrast of the plasma is just amazing <laughs> the black levels everything and this is not even one of the best plasmas this is just a mediocre uh, plasma TV so yeah let me know if you have any questions and I, I, I'm planning to do more more plasma videos and comparisons uh, but I know that most people don't have a plasma TV so most people following the channel now has they have OLEDs 
and that's why I focus on the OLED. But the reason why this channel is called Plasma TV for Gaming is because I was in love with this Plasma TV and this was the reason why I opened this channel. I would, I would have never opened the channel if I just get the OLED. I, wouldn't, I did it because of this Plasma to show everybody. Before I got the OLED, I opened this channel and I said, man, I have to show everybody how amazing this plasma technology is because it's almost free, <laughs> man, almost free. And it looks so fantastic. And I said, people need to know. So, yeah, just going to play for a moment and I'm going to wait on the, until the recording stops because I'm running out of memory. But I want to show you how good this looks. And also for the gunplay, it's very good. So we have our weapons here. For the gunplay, it feels responsive. Let's see if I can show you before the end of the video. It feels responsive to play. See? It feels responsive. Very, very good. So it is a game mode. The Plasma has a game mode. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. It's just looking absolutely amazing. Look at that. Fantastic. <laughs> Insane, man. Absolutely amazing.